Great. So this is BB10 running on an alpha dev A device. Yes. Let's go ahead and Okay, so up. so this is the, the first screen. So if you have an events coming up, will be displayed here. You have a one button to take you directly to the camera. So if you slide up, that will take you to the active, what we call it, the active frames. And this is where all the applications you have launched there. If you swipe to the, to the, uh, to the right side, so you'll have your typical icons to be able to launch applications there. Mm -hmm. and, and then here, for example, we have the browsing, the text, or, or for example, the calendar, and then the camera here, uh, uh, you know, if you are wants to take a picture, for example, uh, here, so if we click onto this, so, so obviously that took a picture there. So, uh, so we can as well, if you want to take a different type of pictures, uh, in there so uh, we can share from within the same pictures there so you can uh, as well actually send it via BBM or BBM group or if you have Facebook or Twitter you can launch it from this this place as well there okay great so start. this is uh, again the BB10 is uh, it's a, the, uh, a core a platform that will change the way the mobile computing in the, in the market will be. We will be leading the mobile computing uh, transformation in the market there. And, and again, we focus in on to the right experience. For example, here uh, you have this is your hub. You'll be able to, when you swipe, and you'll be able to always look into the where you want to go, whether you want to go to BBM or whether you want to go to uh, a voicemail, or if you have, for example, here your Gmail, your Yahoo, etc., what have you, Facebook. You can be able to launch it from here and go from here. For example, if I click on BBM, okay. so all that take me to BBM. So then I can just with once swipe, simple swipe, they'll take me back to my active frames, and then you can see there. For example, here is an application launch. This is what we call the storefront. The storefront has uh, combines the application, music, videos. Uh, home shows or TV shows, etc., and you'll be able to tab and get some rating, and you'll be mm -hmm. able to kind of uh, look at it uh, by games, apps, etc. So, uh, so this is simplifying the way the consumer will be able to access everything in one place, uh, whether they can rent or buy or look at comments about some of the applications there. And you can see that uh, once I open an application and I minimize it, it kind of reformat itself. You'll be able to mm -hmm. be able to read it and goes to the top left corner there. If I open this calendar here, so similarly, uh, if I minimize it, it always goes to the to the top left corner in there. And it's actually bringing live data from that application. Basically, yes, and reformat itself, and it'll be able uh, to be able to read and see what it's trying to see without having to open the application in, in, in full. Uh, so again, like I said, it's uh, it's well integrated. A lot of the applications uh, work together at any time. I'm here in the home screen. I can uh, swipe up there, and if I have notification on my left, if I have an email or BBM, I'll be able to view that. Okay. I will have an option to go and check that, or if it's not urgent, I can leave it and just go back to what I'm doing there. So I'm back to my active uh, frames or active uh, screen with all the applications. For example, here I have the weather application is launched here and you can see live the temperature etc mm -hmm. and uh, you can see the view how it looks there so if I minimize this it kind of reformat yeah. it still give me all the information I want to look at at, at the same time. Okay, is there a number of screens that you're limited to as far as icons are concerned, or you can just yeah. keep adding screens, not you, to the live view, but to the actual small icons that you yeah, have? Yeah, you can have up to eight uh, concurrent uh, simultaneous uh, applications open at the same time okay. on that stuff, because that will fill the kind of like the screen with four applications and, and you then start then give you, you another four there, so okay. that's basically. But when you go to your icon screen, the one that you have all the applications on basically, uh, yeah, you have exactly. everything so in there. So is there a limit to the number of screens you can have? Uh, or no, you can just kind no of whatever keep fits in there. And then you can actually group and organize. So if you could look in the bottom here, so mm -hmm. you have, you can uh, go to different uh, uh, screens there. And then okay. it depends how you group them there, how you okay. want to group your applications or folders there. And then you can, with a simple click, it'll take you back without having to swap as well there. Got it. So it'll take you there. So one thing I would like to show you as well. So if we look into the uh, the experience of the keyboard. So let's start, uh, we want to compose uh, something here. So for example, uh, this keyboard has been designed, taking into account the best typing experience there. And as well, it has a prediction. And the prediction actually, what it does, uh, it once 
you uh, open the device or for the first time, it goes and scans it through your email, your BBM, your Facebook, Twitter, what have you, and learns about you, what to use. For example, if I want to type uh, the, uh, let's say I want to type, uh, uh, for example, I want to start typing here, mm -hmm. let's. Uh, and it kind of predict for me there, based on that, some of the words that I want to type. So if I want to do uh, let's here, I'll just can do and just uh, flick it up and they'll take it up there. And I want to say, let's go uh, back. And it kind of understand the contents and the logic and things ahead, what I want to type. Let's go back, uh, for example, uh, in my car. Okay. For example, so this is you can see I, I barely typed a few letters there yep. and cannot be able to flick that. If I want to erase something, all I have to do just swipe to erase the whole the whole word for me. Okay. The other thing, for example, if I have some other languages, I'm able to switch to another language. For example, here's the keyboard okay. in Arabic, so I'm able to type. Let's say uh, if I want to type something uh, like uh, uh, Keith for example okay. uh, you know something like that just just kind of like uh, let's say can here so you can flip uh, flick the word flicker the word to go up on the screen uh, mm -hmm. like this and and then you can see as well even in Arabic it kind of predict for you what you want to type uh, as well and then you can go back to English if you want to type something specific or vice versa so you start typing again in something in, in Arabic and in, in English there so it matches again on that stuff. So if I want to erase again, so I can just like swipe and erase the whole word for me. Got on it. that stuff. So so this is pretty cool. And and like I said, uh, the more you use it, the more it learns, the more it understand what you're trying to do. Um, you know, and, and kind of learns. Even if you use abbreviations, what have you, it learns all about it. In the calendar. So let's say if I have an entry there, I mm -hmm. don't have one here now, but it'll give me when I open the entry, it'll give me details about the meeting. It'll give me details about the people. If I'm socially connected with people on Facebook and Twitter, Bring I'll be details. able uh, to see their latest update. I don't have to leave the place where I am. I, I'm, I'm just in the same place. I'm able to view and access everything. As as well, it shows me the activities between myself and, and this person, whether it was emails or BBM, what have you, the latest and everything. So and everything you are within a swipe away from everything you're trying away. to do. So here I'm trying to get again, this is my active frame. So, I, so I'm peeking to what I have here next year. I had a BBM or I can always yeah. back to the hub and then go to my main mm -hmm. other. So if I'm in, uh, in, in anywhere, I'm able to share, I'm able to upload, I'm able to access the social sites, well integrated, everything will integrate it together. Wonderful stuff. Well, thanks very much okay. for the demo. I no appreciate problem. It.